So that motivation for this. So this is a bit like the stuff we talk about in introduction. There's, there's a bit of overlap between uh, writing a good paper, of course, and giving a good talk. That's not surprising. So just as in the introduction of your paper, you don't have very long to catch your interest, to catch the audience's interest. In a talk, I reckon you have about two minutes. Right. Most people, in the first couple of minutes of the talk, are going to form an impression about whether they're going to continue to listen to you. Most people have other things that they're thinking about. You know, they're thinking about what they had for breakfast, or they're thinking about the, you know, the research problem they're working on. Or nowadays, in the days of laptops, you can see you know, the laptops start to flip open halfway through the talk, <laughs> after two minutes, right? So people start working on their compilers that they're busy doing. So people start to disconnect. So you want to give them a reason not to, and you have to give it to them pretty early. So the question they're asking themselves is, should I continue to listen to this talk? Should I tune in? Right. Is, it a, um, is it an interesting problem or not? So you want to do this uh, compressed thing of, here's a problem, and if I can solve it, it would be really interesting. So here's a 